ton. EA's granted them uh, a year and a half to two years of more development for their next Battlefield game that they want to release uh, in 2022 or somewhere around there. Now, what, what do they need to focus on? A, a specific direction for Battlefield? And, That's and up keep to them. it. I mean, I mean, I don't have the. No, we right. nobody's gonna have the answers except for, except for but them. They need they to, to. But sit, they need. They to need to sit down and agree what yes, that next yes. game looks like, and all yes. say we're gonna put all the time, we're gonna put all the effort into this, and say this is what the game looks like. And literally, they're either they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to pick a vision of what the community loves, right. whatever vision they decide to pick, capitalize on that, and unfortunately, they're gonna have to ignore everyone else. It doesn't look, matter look, what look, the. Look what Respawn did. They're like, okay, we're going to either make a Titanfall 3 game or we're going to go with this BR craze. And they went full bore. The whole team were coming together or making a BR game. And so Apex, we're not making, yeah. And so it, Apex context, was born. Apex is a, is a mistake. Why and is now, that? I'm not saying a mistake because it, it was, it, it, it wasn't a mistake because they didn't want it to succeed. It was an accidental mistake of how well it did. They didn't choose to make just a battle royale game. Companies don't just choose to say to put all their eggs in one basket because corporate businesses don't do that because it's poor business. Okay. They were already probably making a Titanfall. Let's just be honest. They were probably already making a Titanfall game. Well, they said but they were. Apex did so well, and sometimes this can happen whenever you have a certain team and they have a certain vision. Maybe the fact that they were so small working on it but this is this is me looking from the outside. Okay. They released Apex, and then what happened afterwards? There wasn't enough content. What does that tell me? That tells me that they didn't anticipate the success of Apex, and the team was not as large as what they were doing elsewhere. So the team that was elsewhere working on something else now got put on Apex, and now the focus is Apex. It was an accident. Nobody anticipated, not even developers anticipated, that that game was going to do as well as it did. And nobody can sit there and tell me otherwise because actions speak louder than words. You release the game as a surprise, <laughs> you have no follow-up content, and then all of a sudden you put all your eggs in one basket and all of a sudden the direction of EA on their Stockhold meeting starts saying, we're believing in Apex. Well, if they want to impress stock shareholders, they would have yeah. hyped the game and put that in front of stock shareholders. The reason why they didn't is because they said... I mean, this could really flop. So why why would we advertise that to stock shareholders? And if flops, then our stock is gonna plummet. Yeah, but Daz, how how do you accidentally make a good game? Like, well, I mean, just like they, anything they, else, that spirals and comes out of control. Everything is always a happy accident when something like that happens. Whenever I started streaming and doing content creation, did I think I was gonna be putting as much effort as I did and going as far as I have? No, I. This is an accident, man. All this stuff is always an accident. What you build behind it is having talent and good people working on something and, and having that's what a, they a dream and a vision. And obviously, Respawn has a great team. So whatever mm. they're working on is probably going to be good. Look at Jedi Fallen Order. Obviously, wow. it works. It, yeah. it looks like it did very, very well. And it I mean, I played it for like four hours last night. It's a fun Same. game, you know? Same. But then the question is like, how did that happen? You know, is it, it there are you set things up for success and then you just kind of roll with it and some things work and some things don't you know that's just but you can't anticipate when stuff spirals out of control and the answer to everybody who who is successful will always say i didn't expect this to happen <laughs> and this was just in chat and we were just chatting about it he's like i didn't expect people to watch me nobody expects you or things to happen expects, they just yeah. happen it just happens dude sometimes people expect too much and maybe that could hurt them in the in the long run but yeah you're, you're right i mean nobody expects uh to grow in a certain way but you gotta believe in yourself to prove yourself that you have talent and i think that's what you have done look at fortnite, all the other, like, fortnite, look at fortnite is a great example it yeah, was a single player game much. the br was made on a a whim they were very talented based together. on they some knew how uh, to make a game yeah it was based on some uh what, what, Kind of a game mode it was. I don't remember. Well, uh, the BR was supposed to be a side a horde project. mode, a horde mode or something. Yeah, That's and they the put all thing. their money into it. Epic did, and all of a sudden they said, "Wow, the BR is really taking off. Why is it taking off?" Well, I mean, they were already a talented team. They yeah. knew how to make a game, and they put some effort into it, and then it just spiraled. And there's talent there, so they're able to hone in on you know 
whatever game they're making. What's going to kill Fortnite is when Epic and Fortnite become. You know, and this isn't a Fortnite topic, but it goes back. I know, to yeah, dice. it's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll compare it, and I'll, I'll full. I'll bring it full that's, circle. That's what dice. I want to do. Yes. So, in comparison with Epic, whenever something becomes too big and you put too many minds behind something, that's when stuff starts to struggle. So, when Dice starts to struggle, is because there's a lot of different visions. Fortnite had a small team that had a certain vision. When they got bigger, all of a sudden, all the vision becomes different. There's different ideas. The, the downside of Fortnite is going to be the fact that they can't do everything and they can only stick to one vision. The downside to Battlefield is the same exact thing, is that you have too many visions and you have too much stuff that you want to do and there's no way to possibly do it because there's only so much time in a day and mm -hmm. there's only so much resources you can throw at something. So that's to bring it back to DICE and Battlefield and why we have the problem we have today.